See those starlings right there? 65 yards. Oh. There he goes. More just landed. Same spot. wind died off there for a second. So I got the FX Wildcat out today, and there's a lot of wind out today, which you could probably tell by those shots, and the metal blowing on the barn back there. So sometimes I just get sick of hunting with cheap brake barrels, and I like to take the, my expensive air rifles out. Oh man, there's some pigeons right there, flying around the silos. All right, I'm gonna go set up for these pigeons. We'll see if we can snipe one of them off the top of the silos. Oh, there's one up there right now. Right, I'm just gonna get in this barn, rest my gun on the pallets right here. This is gonna be good. Look at the wind blowing these weeds though. Just my bipod. About 60 yards. A lot of people ask what I use for the holdover app. I use Straylock Pro. Apparently that got banned, so you can't download it anymore, but I'm still able to use it on my phone. So 60 yard holdover is about one mil dot. I'm gonna go for the right one so I don't wound another one. Oh man, jeez, that was one of the best shots on a pigeon I've ever taken. I'm gonna wait here a little bit longer. There's pigeons everywhere out this morning. I just looked around the corner of the barn. There's like a hundred starlings on this power line. They're at 60 yards. I'm gonna see if I can take one out. Ooh. Two more. Got him. I think I winged that first one. I think I better go find him. All right, here's the second one I got, I think. I haven't seen the first one yet. I don't know if there's any chance I'll find him in this stuff though. Okay, I can't find the startling anywhere. I've looked all over this place. I'm assuming he went down this groundhog hole and got away. While I was looking for those starlings, I saw a pigeon fly over to the silos. I didn't see him up there, so he must be in one of these silos. He's right on the edge and he just flew out. Let's see if I can find that first pigeon while I'm down here. The way the first pigeon slid off the silo, I'm guessing is right between these two. I hope. If I can't find this bird, I'm a terrible hunter. Well, I guess I'd be a tracker, but I don't know. This isn't looking good. Maybe he's right on top of that little piece of roof. I'm gonna have to use my parkour skills to climb up there and look. Spider crawl up this. Oh, he is right there. Sweet. Nice looking pigeon. Oh yeah. Right there. That's right where I was aiming for. X did out his other shoulder too. Alright, that one pigeon just landed. Oh gosh. He's about ready to go away. No. There he is, there he is. Ah, oh, he keeps disappearing behind the silo. So I just pulled up to a different barn because the pigeon activity was slowing down a bunch. And there's sparrows everywhere over here. There's a bunch in those pallets. We're gonna try to snipe some sparrows with this. I think we're gonna be able to get a bunch. All right, first I'm gonna see if I can get some on these pallets. It's only about 30 yards away, so dead on hold. I wanna go for a headshot. Oh yeah. That was a headshot. There's some more. Another headshot. This rifle is so accurate, it is crazy. Two headshots in a row. I mean, it's like 30 yards away, but there is wind out here too. There they go again, there's some more. Three headshots in a row. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to find some of these birds. Pretty sure all of them were off this top pallet. There's the third one I shot. Oh wait, that was a body shot. Maybe I was just hitting all these in the body. There's another one hiding down in here. Okay, that was a headshot. I just saw the other one, there it is. Back in here. Okay, yeah, that was a headshot. His head's half gone too. My obese cat found me. Not because of the birds I give her though. It's probably too spoiled to eat one of these things. There you go, good dude, there you go. Okay, so I moved over to a different spot right here and the pallets are 40 yards away. There's actually a sparrow up there right now. They also like landing over here in these bushes too, so I'll be able to get those ones. Uh, let's see if we can get this one up here right now. 40 yards. Oh, about 55. Uh, I might've got him. 72. 
Dang. Cat's actually eating the sparrow. There's two more to snack on when you're done with that one. Go for a headshot again. Oh, I think for these ones I'll quit going for headshots. It's too windy. I don't know what the wind's doing. What the heck? Okay, I'm not missing this one. Oh my goodness. If we get three in a row right here. I know I got one. Oh, okay, got him. Got that one center of the body. I'm pretty sure I saw the other two fly off. All right, guys, there's a crow right over there behind that tree. I snuck up behind this tree so you wouldn't see me. I'm guessing I'm close to 100 yards. I'm gonna try to take him. 90 yards, three and a half mil dots. Oh, I got him, I got him. I think he just went down. 88 yards, I'm guessing close to three mils. A lot of wind. Oh, I hit him. So on my way to get that first crow, I walked up a little bit and there was another one like in the same tree that I didn't see. So I shot at him. I think the pellet went a little bit to the left. It might have winged him. I saw both the birds start falling, so I know both of them are on the ground by now. I just don't know if I'll be able to find them. Like this is some really thick stuff. I'm confident the first one's dead because when the crow's flying away, you could see its legs dangling. That usually happens when the shot's a little bit far back, but it's still a long shot. So that crow should be down somewhere in here. If I wasn't filming, normally I would have given up by now, but I know there's gonna be people hating because this makes three birds I've lost already in this video. But I'm trying my best, I'm still looking. For each one of these crows, it's like a 50 by 100 yard area they could be in. And I'm looking through this thick stuff. This is terrible. I guess this means I just need a new gun, either a 25 or 30 caliber. So I'm gonna keep looking for a little longer. If I don't find any of the crows, I'll just see you guys tomorrow. All right, so it's actually two days later. It was raining all day yesterday, so I didn't go hunting. I've actually already taken a couple shots on starlings today and I've missed everyone. I'm at the silos where the pigeons are. I just saw one up there earlier, but it's gone. There's starlings right there. Stupid car scared them all away. He just landed right in front of me. Got him. Yeah, I wasn't going to miss that one. That was like 25 yards. I think I've actually gotten the whole hunt without telling you guys what I'm shooting. I'm using these FX 18.1 grain pellets. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I tested these between the JSB 18.1 grains, which are basically the same pellets, just I think these have less dyes. I can't remember. But I tested the JSBs in these 85 yards, and the FX pellets did way better. So this is what I'm going to be sticking with for now on, the FX 18.1 grains shooting at 900 feet per second. Oh gosh, another starling just landed right here. It's probably gonna fly. Got him. Yeah, there's a lot of starlings out today. I've only seen one pigeon though. So hopefully we'll get some more, cause I wanna make a pie. I wanna make a pigeon pie, that sounds really good. Okay, a pigeon just landed up there, 60 yards. He's not showing me too much of himself though. I can barely see him. Hardly any wind too. I'm not sure the wind is going though. Ah, it was blowing the other way. I'm gonna leave those pigeons alone for a little bit, give them time to circle back. I'm gonna do some walking around the barns and see if we can get some sparrows and maybe some more starlings. Ooh, what? That was weird. Guessing that's around 55. Oh yeah. This is that starling I just got. And for these little starlings and sparrows, I just leave them out for the barn cats to find. Usually those will be gone by the next day. So that was about a 35 yard shot straight up that tree, resting on this fence. You'll probably notice on that shot I aimed about an inch to an inch and a half low. That's because when you shoot straight up, gravity doesn't have the same effect as if you're shooting horizontally. When you shoot horizontally, the pellet drops like that. It has that arc to it. But when you shoot straight up, it doesn't have that effect and it just kind of I don't know. I'm so bad at explaining this stuff, but the pellet doesn't drop like this. It just goes up, if that makes any sense. I don't know. If you're wondering why you miss squirrels up high in the tree, try aiming a little bit lower and you'll probably get them. 111 yards. Oh my gosh. I totally hit that crow. I don't know which one it was though. All right guys, we gotta talk about this. I can't keep doing this. I can't keep wounding stuff because my gun isn't powerful enough. So I'm thinking I'm going to buy another FX air rifle. Ever since I started shooting FX air rifles on my channel, people have been hating about FX 
because of that cheap air rifle uh, beat it in the durability test but in my opinion i think these are good quality air rifles i'm not sponsored by fx at all i will keep buying these air rifles because i like them they're very accurate and i like the look of them i think they're like the best looking pcps on the market so here's my options get a 25 caliber sniper version of this i actually have a list of guns i want to get someday let me see so either the 25 caliber sniper version of this one or an FX Dynamic 30 caliber. I really want to get that one someday for Groundhogs too. I also want to get some impacts. I want a bunch of guns. Right now, it's either an FX Wildcat 25 cal or the Dynamic and 30 cal. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. What would you want me to get? I'm not saying I'm going to buy one, but it's like what should the next one be you know all right for the rest of this video no more shots on crows unless it's within 50 yards everything else is fine i'll take 200 yard shots on sparrows all right let's keep hunting see if we can find some more 81 yards two and a half mils oh dropped them Thirty-five yards. Wow, that was a loud smack. Okay, I'm back at the sparrow spot again. See if I can finish the video off with a couple sparrows. All right, they're all about 30 yards away. All right, this is gonna be the last sparrow. See if we can end it with a headshot. Got him. Subscribe.